All right. Well, good God's morning to you. I pray that you're having a blessed, beautiful Tuesday morning. Praise the Lord. For it is another day, November the 3rd, that the Lord has made and we will, we shall, beloved. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. I am excited. I am super excited about what God is doing in this season. And beloved, if you just have faith and trust him and believe, amen, in what he says, he's not slack concerning any of his promises. And I'm so glad about that. God is an on-time God, and he will do exactly what he said he is going to do. No matter what it looks like, all you got to do is trust him by faith, beloved. Trust him by faith. Let faith do the work, okay? Let faith do the work. All right, beloved, let's get our scripture for today. It is going to be coming from Malachi, mm, Malachi 3 and 10. Now, I have to remind you all, I have to give you all this disclaimer. I don't choose these scriptures, okay? These scriptures come to me um, uh, through an app that I have every morning, okay? So, I don't, I don't choose these scriptures, so don't think I'm trying to, you know, insinuate anything, okay? All right, let's look at it, Ma Malachi. 3 and 10, it says, bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in mine house. He said, test me in this, saying, the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough to receive. My God from Zion. Beloved. You know, it is important um, that, first of all, we be obedient to what God is saying to us, okay? We read the scripture just like the preacher reads the scripture, just like whoever else reads the scripture. And we have to interpret and get our understanding and ask God for revelation and truth. And so here in Malachi, Jesus is telling them, you know, bring all... The whole tithe into the storehouse. Now we know. I hope I don't have to, you know, give you a lesson on this. But let me let me help you just a little bit, okay? Tithing, God requires that we give ten percent of our tithing, right? Okay. So He's telling us to bring your tithes into the storehouse. The storehouse is that church, the church where you can, you know, where any in any event that something happens, in any event that something is wrong, you know. Um, where any event where a member of the church or whatever, you know, um, the community needs something that they are able to gain help. He says, bring that into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. Meaning if you need something, there should be something at that church because you got the money huh? that, that you can go and get it. Then he said, test me. This is what I've got to say to you all. Test me. Many people don't give their tithing. Many people are cautious about their tithing. Many people give part of their tithing. Many people just, you know, won't even give part of it, half of it, third of it. You know, because they are. Um, and good morning to you all. I see you all. Good morning. Stay with me this morning. Um, they'll, they'll, they'll give a part of it because... For whatever reason, they may have heard somebody said, you know, they ain't doing right with the tithe, and or you know, you may you may have that thought in your back of your head, like I don't know where my money is going, I don't see nothing happening. You know, the church say they always doing a building front offering, but I don't see nothing happening to the building. You know, there's that thought. Well, maybe I you know I heard the preacher was taking the money. There's that thought. This is what I had to say to you. God says to test me. Not test the preacher, not test the deacon, not test any other member of the church. He says that by you doing this, by you doing what I've asked you to do, you're testing me. Beloved, this is the one thing that we have to remember. That when I'm obedient to God, God proves himself to me. I can't worry about what else happens to the money when I give it. Can the church say amen? Because, see, when you give it, you're giving it unto God. 
And see, God is going to get whoever misuses, abuses that which belongs to the storehouse. He says to test me in this. God is saying to test him in this. Not the preacher. <laughs> Not the deacon. Because see, God is going to get them. But you don't want to be in that raft when he gets them because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. You don't want to miss your blessing because look what he says here. He says, he said, test me in this, says the Lord Almighty. And see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out a blessing. He said, pour out so much blessing that you will not have room enough to receive it. Beloved, I, I have to say this, you know, during this pandemic, you'll see churches closing and, you know, we're praying for them. Um, I've seen so many churches for sale signs go up um, and we're praying for them. But for our church, I can only speak for our church, Victory in Christ United Church. We have seen so much blessing. God has just continued to bless continue to keep why because we did what we were supposed to do our members did what they were supposed to do by continuing to sow a seed none of them have lost a job they continue to sow because they understand that when i sow i it leaves my hand open when i give y'all see my hand when i give it leaves my hand open it leaves my hand open because i'm i'm a giver my hand is open and so therefore, if I'm a giver, I also got to understand that my hand is open to also receive. <laughs> oh, have mercy. If your hand is so tight, you can't get nothing in and you can't get nothing out. But I'm a giver. And so my hand is open. And so I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm able to receive what God has for me. And I'm giving to him what belongs to him. Because understand, beloved, it was God that gave you the job. It's God that has been keeping you. Our church has been blessed because we have givers in the church. God has been blessing. He's been keeping. They're still maintaining their jobs. You know, God is blessing even with jobs. God is doing so much because they are obedient to his will. Not just them, but the whole house is obedient to God's will. God has opened the floodgates. And I believe, beloved, that he will open the floodgate to you if you be obedient to his will. He says to give, bring all the tithing into the storehouse that there may be meat. He says, and test him with this. Don't worry about the preacher. Don't worry about the deacon. Don't worry about whoever, whatever you heard. You tell your friends, look, I'm putting it in the hands of the Lord, and I'm going to be obedient to what God told me to do, and God going to work that rest, the rest of that stuff out. I'm going to get my blessing because I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do, and that's what it's about. You doing what you're supposed to do and let God worry about the rest because he said here, test me in this. God knew that there were going to be people that, that stole from him. God knows that there's going to be people that, you know, who 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 lies still cheat. You know, he knows that. But you've got to be obedient to what he's saying. And so if you aren't paying your tithe, beloved, go pay your tithe. And watch when God do something good for you. Watch when he won't promote you. Watch when he won't do. Because understand, when your tithes increase, that means my promotion has also increased. Oh. When I'm able to give more, that means something happened in my life where I'm able to give more because I got more. Stop, stop, hope, give them hands, keep them hands open, beloved, so that you're able to receive. Oh, I'm giving, I'm able to receive, I'm sowing in faith. God, I'm taking this and I'm trusting you at your word and I'm giving. Lord have mercy. God is good, he is. And, and, and he has something in store for you. If we'll be obedient to his will, okay? All right, beloved. Good God's morning to you all. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for this day. For, Lord, this is the day that you've made. And, God, we will, we shall. We are going to rejoice and be glad in it. We thank you for your word this morning. Your instructions to remind us uh, uh, this morning about 
your commandment of tithing. God, you said to prove you, test you, to see if you won't open the window of heaven. It's not my pastor, it's not the deacon, it's not the other members, but God, you will open the door. You will, will provide. You will make the way. You would open the floodgates and, and, and there won't be room enough to receive it. But God, we'll try to receive all of it. We'll bring the buckets. We'll bring our friends. Ah, come on, friends. Get a blessing. Hallelujah. We'll bring all of what we have to receive your bless blessings. God, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without us. And God, help us to understand in order to reap the harvest, we've got to be sowing a seed. God, we ask you just to bless the fellowship this morning. Those who have watched, those that will watch. Oh, God, those that have already watched. God, that as they continue to do your will. God, as they continue to test you, we know that you will provide. We know that you will keep your word. We thank you this day. God bless us as we, um, some of us go out and do our, our due diligence of being a citizen. God, we ask you to bless and continue to keep us in your care. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Well, good God's morning to you all. Good morning, Lady Karen. Good morning, Kanita. Good morning, Sister Emily. Good morning, Sister Tara Grant. God bless you. Tara, we looking for you. God bless you, and we're praying for you as well. Denise Davis, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Sister Harmon. God bless you. God bless you, Brother Kenny. Amen. Well, God bless you all. Y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. If you have not done your duty as a citizen of the United States, make sure that you do that. Amen. Um, make sure that you are watching as well as praying. God is up to something good. Amen. And I am so glad that he is. Beloved, I'm just going to throw this out here. If you don't have a place of worship, you can come. You're welcome to come and worship with us on Sundays at 11 o'clock. All right. Sundays at 11 o'clock. Amen. If, if we are the ministry for you that you watch and that if you are blessed by our ministry, you're also welcome to sow the seed. Amen. Um, we can show you what God is doing and God is doing some great things. We, 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 we are, are blessing to be a blessing. And so y'all continue to stay blessed because you are already blessed. And continue to be obedient to what God is telling you to do. Amen. Let God worry about all that other stuff. All right. God bless you all. Y'all have a blessed and a beautiful day. And we shall see you tomorrow. Same time, same place for another good God's morning moment. So good God's morning to you. We love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Good guys, morning to you. Y'all have a blessed day.